Hi, I'm Dr. Matthew McNutt, orthodontist. Thank you for visiting our before and after collection. We're going to describe what a class two malocclusion is. Malocclusion simply means bad bite. Perhaps the best way to do this is to first look at what an ideal healthy bite should look like. The teeth that you see on the screen are arranged in that ideal best bite. Let's use these arrows. You'll notice that when they're lined up, that this lower first molar is a half a tooth ahead of its upper partner. It's a very good relationship for these teeth to be in, and they're offset, and they sort of protect each other when they're arranged this way. You'll notice these premolars are in the same arrangement here, here, as well as these canines. Also, when the teeth come together in a proper bite, you'll notice that the lower front teeth are tucked up just behind the upper front teeth. Now, a class II malocclusion, or as many people refer to it, an underbite, looks something like this. You'll notice in this arrangement that the upper front teeth typically are well forward of the lower front teeth. It doesn't allow the front teeth to work together, and it's very difficult to efficiently chew food. It also asks the back teeth to do more than their fair share of the work, since the front teeth aren't really contributing very much. You'll notice in a class two malocclusion that this lower molar is positioned well behind the upper partner. A class two malocclusion can be very severe, just like the one you see here on the screen, or moderately severe, or end-to-end -end, as we refer to it as orthodontists, or it can be just a mild class two like this. Depending on the severity of the bite, that will guide the orthodontist in terms of what type of treatment plan is best for each individual patient. You might find that in a very severe case like this one, we will use a bite corrector with braces in order to fix the bite. If the teeth are stacked end on end like this, we may elect to use just rubber bands with braces in order to fix the bite. In fact, that's also a great way in a case where it's only a mild class two problem like this. So when you're looking at our before and after collection, you'll see a variety of cases that were treated in different ways depending on each individual patient's needs. Oftentimes, for our very severe cases, we'll use a bite corrector like a Mara or a Herbst. These bite correctors are attached to the teeth and used in conjunction with the braces to correct the bite. The nice thing about them is that they don't rely on the patient to put them in and out like you would rubber bands or, say, a headgear. The orthodontist fits them over the teeth, and they don't come off until the orthodontist removes them. So for parents with teens worried about your teenager actually wearing their appliances or helping us fix the bite, with a bite corrector, you don't have to worry about that. It's in 24-7 doing its job. So we hope that you enjoy looking at some of our wonderful cases where we've taken severe class 2 bites like this and corrected them into a position like this allowing the teeth to fit together in harmony and really provide a healthy bite for the patient. Thank you.